Okay, so I wanted to make this video to kind of go over how to install Ubuntu on a Surface, a Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Uh, I don't know everything. I ran into a lot of issues, so if anybody knows more than me or has a better idea of how to do this better, I am totally up for, you know, leave it in the comments. And uh, that way, I, I wanted to make this video because I, in searching for answers for this, I came across a lot of uh, weird information, people trying to say to install different types of kernels and to do weird stuff like that. And um, I came across an interesting solution. So the first thing that I, I'll talk about is when you go to download uh, the USB, like the bootable um, image, I originally was, was installing Ubuntu 16 um, simply for the, the long-term support, meaning that it's more secure. You, you don't have to, it, it, there's not as many bugs and it's been, you know, it's been tested thoroughly. Um, that being said, when I, when I installed it and I had it running on the Surface Pro 4, the, the touch or the, sorry, the touchpad wasn't working like for the mouse on the, on the keyboard, it wasn't working. The keyboard was working, which I was really impressed by the power buttons all worked, the volume worked. Um, but yeah, the, the trackpad didn't work. And so, um, I decided to give this Ubuntu 17.10.1 a try, and just on booting up on the USB alone, I found that the trackpad started to work, including gestures like swiping up, down, uh, three finger, two finger tap for right clicking, stuff like that, all worked. And so I used Ubuntu 17 to um, on on my Surface Pro, and. The way that I installed it onto a USB is using this, it's called Rufus. So what you do is essentially you just put your USB stick in, um, you would point to the device that you, you know, the USB device, um, and then you, down here, uh, you would click this button right here, and that would point to your ISO, so your image file. You would have to find your image file and install it onto the uh, USB. It's a really quick and easy program to do that. Um, so the issue I ran into was I kept installing it and installing it, and uh, when I would boot, um, I would get a very interesting screen, which I will show. So I apologize for my terrible video quality. Uh, this is actually my first time really doing anything like this. So I'll show you what screen I was getting after uh, installing uh, Ubuntu onto a solid state drive, and then trying to uh, run that solid state drive um, on the Surface Pro 4 via USB. And I have that, and I, and I will show the the working setup, but I think it is of value to show you the non-working setup. So uh, when I hit boot, let's see the boot screen comes up, and you'll get a, uh, it's really hard to see, but it, it basically it says, a, you know, a minimal bash uh, scripting line kind of thing. And this is Grub, this is the bootloader, basically telling you that something is amiss, something's not working right. Um, so what we'll do is um, I'm going to show you first I will uh, shut down the surface and then I'll show you the setup that I have on the back and it should help us to, to kind of understand a little bit. Like I said, my webcam's terrible quality so I apologize. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you on the back. I'm actually running a Kingston solid state drive. It's 120 uh, gigabytes. I didn't you don't really need too much space when you're running Linux because it is a small operating system. Um, and this is attached to a USB 3 hub. And the reason that I'm using USB 3 um, specifically over USB 2 is just for the speed, especially if, if you're going to opt for an SSD, you might as well go for as much speed as you can get. Um, and then this hub just plugs into uh, USB. So I'll show you a boot um, into the operating system. And then I can kind of go over um, how I was able to do it and you know what worked and what didn't work. So we'll get the grub screen and we'll boot to Ubuntu. And uh, the really nice part about using the SSD I found was just the overall speed. I was really curious as to how much faster it would be. And it is quite a bit faster. Let me just quickly type in my password. <clears throat> And yeah, so you'll see I'm actually using a, it looks like a, a Mac, but it's definitely not a Mac. Uh, this is Ubuntu, and let me turn the brightness up for you. There you go. So this is Ubuntu running on the Surface Pro 4. 
as you can see uh, the touchscreen I don't have working yet I couldn't get that to work um, the volume buttons both work I'll show you using uh, let me open up like a file that we can kind of kind of read um, sorry I'm used to Windows here so if we open up our files and we go to documents let's just open up um, this is a C programming book here um, so you'll see if I if I swipe down with two fingers on the trackpad um, that all works and I can move it around uh, the trackpad is 100 percent usable which uh, was my primary concern because I'm a student and I wanted to use this um, at school for C programming uh, I love the Surface Pro even as a Windows machine but it's difficult to program in C on Windows it's not impossible but it is uh, difficult so um, the issues that I was having when I came up with this idea actually I think I'm gonna switch back hang on so uh, I'm just bringing up a picture here on Google because I don't want to reinstall Ubuntu especially since I have it working right now um, but this is the screen that you will get when you're trying to install Ubuntu onto a any kind of hard drive this is what you'll get um, and what was happening with mine because I am installing onto an SSD I thought well I'll just install I'll, I'll plug it into USB and I'll install it onto the USB, um, no problem. But the issue I was running into was that when I would get to this screen, uh, if you read any kind of like guide on to um, how to install Ubuntu, people are gonna tell you to use the ext4 formatting, which is absolutely correct, you should. Um, and again, I'm no expert, I might be wrong, I might be right, um, but at what I've read, you want to use the ext4 format uh, journaling system and then you want to set up a home directory, a root directory, and then some swap space. Um, but what was happening in my case was that when I went to go set up my home and root directory and set them to ext4 on the solid state drive on the uh, surface, was that um, I was getting this kind of strange error that was telling me that I needed to have a specific um, index point for the amount of bytes that I was uh, allocating for disk space. And I had never run into this before. I wasn't really sure what to do. And I'm sure that somebody watching this video might, you know, know way more than me and, and know how to fix that properly. Uh, my solution was a little bit um, cheeky. So what I ended up doing is I took the solid state drive off of the surface. I plugged it into my desktop. I booted the Ubuntu installer on my desktop and I installed Ubuntu onto the SS or onto the SSD. Once it was installed, I removed it, and then I plugged it into the the surface. However, this wasn't the end of the story. Um, when I when I did that, um, I went to go try and boot up the um, surface, and it wasn't working. It wasn't working. And, and one page, I will kind of uh, hang on. One page, I will suggest that you check out is. Um, let me find it really quick. So right here, this is all about um, Grub, which is the Ubuntu basically bootloader. Um, and this goes through steps on how to fix your broken um, Grub if it's not working properly. Uh, that being said, that wasn't the case in, in for me. Even though I tried to, re to repair it a million times, it would not boot to Ubuntu. I would get that weird screen and uh, eventually I kind of came across the solution but totally uh, by accident and I can I'll show you uh, what okay so uh, here on the surface you'll see my current boot order so uh, the reason that USB is first was because I was constantly trying to do this boot repair um, with the Ubuntu USB stick the bootable stick which in my case happens to be a little R2D2 um, and uh, I'll just show you because I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, um, and so what happened was I was trying to boot to from USB and I would repair the uh, bootloader or so I thought and then I would put uh, Ubuntu back to the top and I would go to launch and it would bring me to that script that I showed you at the beginning where I wouldn't be able to, to load into Ubuntu. Um, so then, purely by accident, I ended up unplugging the USB, R2-D2, 
Um, but I left the order in this order. And the US, if we remember, the SSD is plugged in through USB. And um, so I can only kind of make an educated guess as to what happened. But in, in my, my guess is that um, what happened was, and what's currently happening on the Surface, my Surface, is that when it boots up, it tries to go for a USB device first. And because there's no bootable USB drive plugged in, uh, it then jumps down the list to Ubuntu. Now, the reason that it then works on Ubuntu is because, in my case, my SSD is plugged in through uh, USB using a an adapter. And I kind of showed you. I can show you again. That's that adapter right there. So this adapter takes the solid state and turns it into a USB 3.0 device. Um, and so what's happening in my boot is that before, I, what I what I think is happening was that USB is taking too long to uh, recognize that something is plugged into it, and then by doing it this way, and then it, so then what happens is it doesn't actually boot. Um, but doing it this way, it checks the USB drive first, and it says, oh, okay, no, we don't have a bootable um, USB stick, but by doing that, when it hits Ubuntu, the, the Ubuntu uh, bootloader then says there is a, a, a hard drive that has Ubuntu on it, and it's plugged into USB. And that's why I'm able to get the result that I... So in conclusion, um, my best bet was really to, to slow down when I was trying to do this um, and just kind of really pay attention to what it was that was causing issues and what wasn't causing issues. Uh, like I said, I'm, I, I'm far from an expert, but I'm really happy with Linux on the uh, Surface Pro 4. I have come into a couple of issues, um, especially because I am running the 17, the, like basically the beta version of Ubuntu right now. And so I ran into a couple of issues like with the terminal commands, some stuff uh, doesn't quite work properly, especially I do like custom themes and so custom themes sometimes can conflict. Um, however, uh, I think the biggest problem that I had, and this might not even be an issue for me or for you, is uh, the Wi-Fi. Um, my Wi-Fi at school is, or at university, is very uh, secure, and it uses secure, I don't, I don't know too much about networking, but it uses certificates, and it's uh, much more sophisticated than my home network. Um, that being said, uh, I would be connected to the Wi-Fi, and then, you know, maybe two or three minutes later, I would completely disconnect from the Wi-Fi, and then I wouldn't even be able to access the Wi-Fi settings. Uh, the way I got around that, and, and I'll probably make another video on this, uh, I just had to turn off a couple of settings on the Surface um, that were in the Linux uh, files themselves. So, um, in conclusion, uh, yeah, the, the Surface 4 is a great little Linux machine. Uh, yeah, I might look a little weird having an SSD Velcroed to the back, but it runs great, and I just didn't have enough space to sacrifice um, shrinking the internal hard drive to put... Um, Ubuntu on it. And a VM, virtual machines are great. Uh, however, I just prefer an actual install over a, a virtual machine, especially when I'm writing code. Um, I'm just more comfortable that way. So uh, if you do have any questions or like you need help with anything, please leave a comment. I, I'm more than, ha than happy to help. Uh, if you have ideas, because I do want to get the touch screen working, I don't, I do not want to install a different kernel. Um, I'm too scared <laughs> and I don't, and frankly, I don't know enough. Um, but if you do have ideas on how to get that working, I would love to hear from you guys and, uh, yeah. So best of luck getting your surface pro fours working.